how these relays essentially work so this is a typical uh, structure of a relay so you can you can uh, you know uh, see the current rating and the voltage rating of the delay and on top of the relay so this relay can withstand up to 10 volt uh, it can operate up to 250 volt ac so a relay typical this is the top side this is the bottom side of the relay a relay normally has uh, five connections like this one two three four and five so this is something like this so you can just draw a square and put circles on four corners of the square and put one circle on top of the square so this is the simple construction of a relay so if you can see this this is one two three four and five okay so these are the five terminals of a relay so what are the five terminals of the relay the top two terminals forming a triangle uh, is called the coil terminal so this we call it as coil one this is coil two okay so terminal one terminal two the top triangle uh, terminal is called the common terminal okay so the bottom terminals one terminal is called nc the other one is called no nc is called normally closed normally closed no is called normally open so these are the five terminals uh, of a relay now let us try and understand how this relay essentially works uh, so that we can make use of this relay for controlling high voltage and high current equipment right the symbol of the relay just now we saw this is coil one coil two and common terminal common terminal is normally connected with the nc is normally closed and this is normally open okay so these are the five terminals so what is the uh, you know uh, you can see these terminals terminal number one coil one this is corresponding to this terminal terminal number two coil two this is corresponding to this terminal number three our common terminal which is this terminal number four are normally closed this is four and normally open or terminal number five this is this these are the five terminals of the relay and this is accordingly written in the form of a symbol like this okay so what are this uh, uh, job of these five terminals coil one and coil two are the two uh, sides of a electromagnetic coil you know the operating principle of an electromagnetic coil so when you energize this coil this you know, this coil would uh, form a uh, magnet around it so it becomes an electromagnet so once you energize this coil so by virtue of this electromagnet this fellow will pull this uh, uh, contact uh, which is originally connected between common and uh, normally closed normally closed is the uh, contact that is established between the common terminal and the nc terminal before this coil is energized the moment this coil is energized this uh, electromagnet will pull this contact towards the uh, no line now a new contact is established between the normally open line and the common line so all the contact between the no line and the common line is closed now the contact is pushed this side okay so this is a switch okay the contact between common terminal is with normally closed under normal cases once you energize the magnet the contact is now established between contact and you know, common terminal and normally open and no contact so this is when the coil is energized or when the relay is on so the contact is pushed from this side to this side this is the original contact when the relay is in off state so what is the meaning of relay is in off state means relay is in off state means this coil is not activated or coil is not energized when the coil is not energized uh, the contact is between uh, normally closed and the common line if the relay is on means what the relay is on means the coil is energized therefore the contact is now established between normally open and the common line so this is the general operating principle of a relay so relay on means uh, the contact between normally open line and the common line is established the relay is off means there is no contact between normally open and uh, normally uh, common line so if you want to understand the operation of a relay it is better that you understand the operation of a relay as a simple switch you know how a simple switch works right so what is the principle of operation of a simple switch so if you assume this as a switch this is terminal one of the switch terminal two of the switch when the switch is in open state there is no connection between terminal one and two when the switch is closed there is contact established between terminal one and terminal two. so what is terminal one and terminal two here terminal one is our normally open line terminal two is our common line you forget about nc we are not using nc so terminal one is our normally open line no terminal two is our common line. so when the switch is in open state 
there is no contact between normally open and common line when the relay is on when the switch is closed there is a contact established between normally open and common point one and so as simple as this so you imagine normally open and common line as a normal simple switch and that switch is closed when the coil is activated the switch is not closed when the coil is not activated or not energized as simple as that so what is the working principle of a relay just now we discussed we have coil 1 and coil 2 this is the core coil 1 and coil 2 when coil 1 is connected to power supply typically to plus 12 volt and uh, you have a small switch here and through that switch you connect this one to ground so when the switch is in open state there is no current i equal to 0 so when the current is equal to 0 so case 1 i call this switch as s so switch is in open state when the switch is in open state current in the circuit is 0 and there is no current the coil is not energized when the coil is not energized the relay is in off state. what is the meaning of relay is in off state means there is no contact between mo and common line okay so the contact is not present between these two case 2 when the switch is closed here then what will happen current starts to flow so this current will create a magnetic field current will be some constant value this results in coil getting energized coil is energized the contact between normally open and common line is established and this turns the relay on so when the relay on means what whatever you connect between these two terminals will get connected suppose if i connect a load between these two points whatever you connect between these two points will get connected so that is this working principle of a relay so a relay is essentially turned on by energizing this coil okay so the relay is turned off by de-energizing this coil so how do i energize this coil and de-energize this coil by putting a small switch here okay so that's the concept so how to connect the relay to the load so if you see this relay there are two parts one is the load side the other one is the coil side one is the load side and the other one is the coil side in the load side we connect the load in the coil side we energize and de-energize the coil by using our microcontroller the job of our microcontroller is to turn on this switch so when the switch is turned on coil is energized when the switch is turned off the coil is de-energized so that is what it is. so let us say normally how do you connect this fan so in in your home uh, typically we have uh, a socket yeah five pin socket the five pin socket the central pin is the ground one pin is space or the live wire the other one is the neutral wire okay so you have uh, uh, two wires coming from here the neutral wire is going to the neutral and the live wire is going to the live wire. the space wire is connected to the base wire and the neutral is connected to the neutral wire and uh, the moment you connect it that way the fan the fan is obviously going to be on this the circuit is closed and the fan is uh, going to be on let us see how do we control this fan by using our relay so if you are going to use a relay we a relay is nothing but a switch isn't it so we need to put the switch at some point in the neutral line so this is switch one and this is switch two so when i open the switch the fan doesn't run when i close the switch the fan starts to run so this is a simple mechanism of using a switch for a fan the face wire connected to face the neutral wire i open and i put a switch so when the switch is closed the circuit is closed and the fan starts to running and uh, when the switch is open the fan doesn't switch off and in the place of this mechanical switch we are going to use our relay okay so that's what it is so what are the terminals we have in our relay we have coil one we have coil two so this is my uh, 12 volt uh, this one i connected to ground by using a simple switch and what is that switch we use a transistor the transistor switch there are three terminals in a transistor switch this is the collector this is the emitter and this is the base the base terminal is what is connected to your adin the pin 13 of your adin so this is your coil side on the load side how many terminals we have three terminals what are the three terminals normally open and normally closed in the common way okay so where should we put our switch we have to put the switch this is terminal one and two so this is terminal one and terminal so as usual i take the uh, so this is my live wire this is the terminals of our home this is the base this is the neutral wire so i take the face wire of my fan and connect it to the face wire of the socket so that is uh, uh, pretty straightforward neutral wire i break because the switch has to go in series with the neutral wire isn't it so what i do 
I may take the neutral wire. One end of the neutral wire I connect it to the normally open line. The other end of the neutral wire I take from the common line and I connect it to the. So now the neutral is connected through a switch. When the switch is on, the fan is on. When the switch is off, the fan is off. So what is the working principle here? When this transistor is on, see the sequence here. When this transistor is on, the current starts to flow in the coil. So this coil becomes an electromagnet, whereby a contact is established in between point one and point. Switch is closed. So thereby the circuit is closed, and therefore the fan is turned on. Okay. So how this transistor is turned on by writing a high here. So when the base is high, when the base is on, the transistor is turned on. Therefore, the current through the coil activates the uh, coil. Therefore, the switch is turned on here. Therefore, the fan goes on. What is the other operation? When I put a low here, this transistor is in off state. When the transistor is in off state, the current in the circuit is equal to zero. That means there is no magnetic field. There is no contact. Therefore, the fan becomes off. It's a pretty straightforward operation. Okay, it's the relay. <clears throat> so this is my coil one, coil two, normally open line, normally closed. So what I do? One side, I connect this fellow to a plus twelve volt uh, power supply, and then uh, make a simple switch. And the other end of the switch, I connect it to ground. So this completes my coil side. So when the uh, uh, you know when the relay is on, see the other side. See this fellow. This is normally in a normally open state. When I close the side, watch the contact moving this side. Why the contact is moving this side? Because the coil is activated. Why the coil is activated? Because the current starts to flow here. When I open this fellow, that fellow is also opening. See, so that is how uh, we make contact uh, with the relay. So now on this side, we have to connect the uh, load. Now let us open the relay. Let us take any load. Let us say. Let us take a small uh, motor or a lamp or whatever. So I take a small lamp. uh okay so let's take a battery let's take it is a 12 volt battery this is separate load this is separate line so for the positive of this i connect it to this fellow the negative of this is connected to this fellow. so when i run this you can see this the lamp is glowing this is without switch because we have directly connected this lamp okay? without any control this is turning it off turning it on i want to control this by breaking this wire so i put uh, uh no. okay so i'm just breaking this wire So one point of the wire I connected to normally open line. The other part of the wire I connected to the common wire. So through this circuit I have inserted the switch. Now what happens under normal cases when this switch is in off state, uh, when the relay is in uh, this is the relay is in open state. When the relay is open state, this circuit is in open state. Therefore the bulb doesn't glow. Now when I close this circuit, the relay is on. When the relay is on, this circuit is closed and therefore the lamp is on. So you can just see that lamp going off in a Open the relay. So opening and closing the relay turns the relay on and off. You can put any load here. Okay, so probably if I eliminate this. Now, uh, if you uh, run the circuit, <clears throat> when you close the circuit, the motor is on. When you open the circuit, the motor is off. On off. So what is the working principle here? Someone explain me. For turning this relay on, I need to activate this coil. For activating this coil, I need current to flow through the circuit. When I want current to flow through the circuit, this switch should be turned on. When I turn on this switch, this relay is activated. Therefore, the contact is closed between normally open and the common line. This is normally open line and the common line. When the contact is established. Whatever the circuit that I connect through that particular line will get closed. Therefore, the load is turned on. Now, this is essentially a switch. The simple switch is connected through the circuit, and the circuit turns on. Now, when I deactivate this coil, when I open this, the circuit is not closed here because the contact established between normally open and the common line is open now. Therefore, the motor stops. That is the working principle. Okay. Now, how am I going to connect my Arduino in this circuit? So, how am I going to Uh, make this uh, Arduino driven circuit. Uh, in this case, what am I going to do? This is a simple manual way of doing it. So what I do? So I just make a copy of this. The place of manual switch, I eliminate this switch with the electronic switch. So I just remove this fellow. I put it electronic switch. What is an electronic switch? So this is an electronic switch, a transistor device, BC five four seven. So the collector terminal is connected to the 
coil the emitter is connected to the ground and the base terminal is controlled by the microcontroller okay so again probably take an arduino device here so this is my arduino it is connected automatically so i remove so the 13th pin of arduino i connected to this one. so if i connect it this way what will happen if i send a high signal here the transistor is on therefore the coil is on therefore the motor is on when i send a low signal here when i send a low signal here the coil is off this coil is transistor is off therefore the coil is off therefore the relay is off therefore the motor is off so it is a matter of sending a high signal low signal from arduino or turning on this rel uh, this transistor and hence turning on this relay on and off so probably i can emulate it by uh, uh, a power supply circuit here so this is a power supply and this is a ground so assuming that uh, my microcontroller can either supply plus or uh, uh, spdt single pole double throw circuit okay so like this wire and i connect it to this transistor base so one end i connect it to power supply the other end i connect it to ground so when this is uh, uh, see and just to compress everything in a single frame so that you can easily see all of them not visualized properly whether you are able to see this in a single frame imagine this is my microcontroller my microcontroller can either supply a 1 or a 0 which i am manually simulating it without writing a program so when i supply a 1 the transistor turns on when the transistor turns on this relay coil is getting activated because the current starts to flow and then the transistor pull this uh, contact to this point so carefully observe uh, so when i put off this switch the relay is turned off when i put on this switch the relay is turned on when the relay is turned on the motor is off so this switch is what is done by the microcontroller the microcontroller either supplies a high or a low thereby the transistor is turned on therefore the relay is energized and therefore the motor is turned on so you can ask me a question why don't you directly connect this uh, you know the relay coil directly to the microcontroller why you need a transistor switch maybe your question because we cannot connect this coil directly to the microcontroller because the microcontroller doesn't have the uh, capacity to turn on and off such a high load high voltage load this is operating at 12 volt typically as a higher current which the transistor which the microcontroller cannot handle directly that is why we need a transistor switch here okay so this is i am emulating a microcontroller so whenever the microcontroller supplies a one the motor on the other side is on whenever the microcontroller is supplying a zero it is off yeah as simple as